guys so what's up welcome back it's your girl Jess so I have some few things that I want to share with you um I have a bunch of things that I want to share with you guys but we're gonna do just this one because your girl gotta go to work um I gotta work tonight so um came home from work looking a hot mess I just fixed my hair no guys if you saw me this morning you'd have been like what 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 but anyways, um, don't forget if you're new to subscribe, click that bell to be notified because YouTube ain't going to do that shit for you. You got to do it yourself. When you get your little drop box, hit always, not sometimes, not maybe, always so you could be on this journey with this girl. Um, let's jump in. So remember, make sure you hit that like because it helps your girl's channel out. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And yeah, let's jump into this because who the hell wants to listen to 20 minutes of me rambling? I'm sure none of you guys. All right, so I got some Morphe stuff. The first thing that I got is um, this is a set that comes and it is $20. Um, the spray alone is $15. So you get the spray, you get an eye primer, and you get the Morphe sponge, which I do love. Be right back. This is my clean one. So, um, as you can see, it is well loved. It's got already little porous holes, which means that it is time to replace it. So, um, yeah, it's 20 bucks for all this stuff. And I love this continuous spray, which I don't use that to, like, set set my makeup. That's more like on um, my Max Fix Plus type, you know, melt everything in. So, again, the sponge. And if you buy this all separately, it'll cost you about $30, I think. Um, the, I mean, the deal is good. This is a metallic heat, um, it's a three set of eyeshadow, metallic eyeshadows, so they're just liquid eyeshadows. So anyway guys, so they have the silver set, that one's in call to me, the one that I got is um, metallic heat, uh, the other one didn't call to me, so these are the three that you get. See that? come on I will leave all the prices down and the link to Morphe no affiliation no codes everybody has a code you can go on anybody's channel or just uh, search you know Morphe codes and you will get codes up the wazoo so the next thing I got is this Grandmasters um, brush set it comes in a box like this and here are all your brushes uh, I've heard that these brushes are no good but I I have uh, the last Jaclyn um, Hill brush set and only one brush was shit um, I have the vegan brush set which are these and these are amazing I love these brushes and I also have the rose gold set and these don't have names or anything but all my brushes are really really good so and I've had to replace a lot of my brushes I was going through a lot of my brushes the other day and I was like girl and I have a lot of brushes because I just love having brushes, but it was time to, you know, get rid of a bunch of brushes. So they come packaged, you know, just in a plastic bag, and then each of them come pre-packaged. So they all come in their own sleeve, a plastic sleeve. And, ooh, this is so soft. These are not numbered either. So these are not like, um, you know, the E, like, the Jaclyn Hill collection came with um, the E41. This is the big powder brush. These don't come numbered like that. But ask me if I care. Because this brush is soft. Okay, so I have these. I'm going to take them out and show you. So there's this small detailer brush. And I'm just going to grab them. I'm not going to go in order. This is a just point. Sorry about the traffic. I'm not closing my window because it's hot in here, but it's cold out there. I need that breeze. Um, this is a pointed just powder brush. I like to use these for powders, or I like to use these just to, you know, do my contour. Oh yeah. Uh, so let's get rid of this. You see how I'm dropping shit already? You know how I do on my channel. Your girl can't do a video without dropping stuff. All right, so I got them all out of the packages, and let's go finish up real quick. So this is just another fluffier. Uh, I would use this like a blush brush. Like I said, your brushes, you use them however you want. Um, I have an angled brush. And these are pretty. They're very lightweight. Um, like I said, I like Morphe brushes. I'm not mad. Um, yes, I love Sigma brushes. But listen, your girl's on a budget. I got some Sigma brushes. <sighs> okay. And I use the code. And, you know, still. 
a little bit now do brushes make a difference absolutely but these brushes are so soft like I'm not even kidding oh my god so I have this um domed you know brush hair then I'm showing you the bigger brushes now this is a smaller pointed brush more like this one this one is just bigger and this one is smaller again I would use this as a powder one because it's more it fits my eye contour a little bit better and this one I would use just you know for my contour see what I'm saying and then oh I love these brushes let me tell you these are so soft I use this when I'm in a rush just to run some color or for my concealer these are so soft uh, we have a pointed large blending brush but again you can use your brushes for anything you want look at it eh, eh. um we have a flat top not completely flat but it's like flat and a little bit domed this is another blending brush we have another pointed a blending brush let's see yeah this one is smaller see that so you have a smaller one and a larger one then you have another pointed smaller uh crease brush and yet another smaller oh I like this one this one is more flat but yet fluffy a very small oh I know what this brush reminds me of hold hold on hold on this brush reminds me of the e17 brush. no not even the e17 the smaller one which one is it this is the m507 brush so this one is pointy and this one isn't, but they're all very small. I have one like this. It's driving me nuts right now because I have one like this, but it's in the M family. See, it's one of these brushes, the M506 or, you know, around, I love small brushes like this because you see how small uh, a blitz space that I have. And when I do my brows, my real estate isn't even that much. Let's be real. But I love these for detailed work or, oh my God, for under here. Because, and my eyes are sensitive, so your girl be needing brushes like this. Okay, I'm just saying. We have a pointed brush. We have a smaller pointed brush. A even smaller crease brush. A flat brush. A even smaller detail brush than the one that I showed you earlier so this one is bigger and this one is so tiny and then we have an eyebrow brush and I'm gonna be trying this one today so we're gonna be trying the brushes out today now I got this package and I'm extra cuz I'm gonna tell you what I did I washed my brushes I washed all my brushes before I used them um there was a little tiny bit of shedding but not a lot and then I prepackaged them again just so I could show you cuz I'm stupid an extra because I want you to really know how they come so don't think don't think bad of me all right because I'm so extra like that so I'm gonna put them here in my little my little cup my, my daughter designed these stickers when she was like in the second grade and and it has her name and she did all the drawings you see that she did all the artwork isn't that special so I put it on this cup that she gave me and I don't drink out of it because I don't want the sticker to get messed up but I use it to display stuff because I'm extra when it comes to my babies. All right, so <laughs> the last thing I got from Morphe is this 35M Boss Palette. Now, they have a whole new, like, collection. A lot of people were talking about that pink one and stuff like that. That didn't call to me. I'm going to tell you what this one called to me. And if you guys can't guess, why? I already told you guys. Why do you think this one called to me? I'm dropping shit. Sorry. Why do you think this one called to me? Can anybody tell me? I love this packaging, the new packaging. Love, love the new packaging. I think it's so much better. Uh, it's square rather than kind of rounded, right? And in the comment section, can anybody tell me why the fact? Yo, girl, love this palette. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. So it comes with the sleeve, and the sleeves have the names on it, which I don't like, and I'm going to tell you why. Because guess why hmm? when you flip it up they're upside down you still can't see them um, usually what I do is I actually put some glue right on the edges and I glue it there and I can just you know follow because they're exactly where they're supposed to be that's how I do it but 
Can you guys tell me? Yes, do I love all these shades? Absolutely, but hello. Hello, hello, hello. These colors here in this section, like that mossy color, moss, moss, moss all, all different levels of moss. Just did it for yo girl. Just did it. Like, just did it. So, I'm going to do my makeup real quick. And then we're going to come back and we're going to play with this puppy because it's so beautiful. And yes, I'm going to go very neutral and it's going to be very boring and very basic and very not me. But but it is me because it's still makeup. And you guys know how much I love my makeup. So I'm going to go ahead, run, do my face. You guys don't want to see that. Um, and I will be right back so we could play with the stuff I got from Morphe. Alright, so I got my little powder. This is the under eye setting powder from e.l.f. And you know what? I actually like this little powder. It's a pain in the butt to get it out. But since I don't use a lot, especially, you know, under my eyes, I'm not worried about it. So I'm going to grab that small brush that I showed you guys. And I'm just going to roll it in there. Press it in really good. Get the, my hands. My hands are clean. And I'm going to press it into the brush. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just press that in there. So. And this brush is so soft. And look how nice it fits. Ooh. Wait. All right, guys. So now I'm going to go into the Morphe eyeshadow primer. And it comes in their standard packaging, their black box with the name Morphe on it. And here it goes. And this claims, I don't even know what the claims are. Um, so it's an eyelid primer. It's translucent. Um, where you go, your killer eyeshadow goes 12 hour long wear waterproof. Ooh. Girl. Uh. All right. All right, Morphe. I see you. All right, let's see this. Let's see if it works. Because you know your girl got some oily ass lids. Let's see if it's going to last. Ooh, I put a lot. Ooh, I put a lot. All right, let's see. Let's bring this. Look at that. Got it on my lashes. Yes. Because my lashes apparently need to be waterproof. And into my brows, like I usually do. All right, guys. So the face is done. The brows is on. And now we're going to go ahead and... You know what? Let's jump into the face real quick. So I'm going to use my Fit Me powder. This is in 330. And I am going to use this big powder brush. And I'm going to set my face all the way down here very lightly. And I'm just pushing all that in because, you know, we don't want nothing moving on us. So I'm just going over everything and then sweeping it. Got to set the ears because I put some on my ears. And just setting everything, setting everything. This brush is so soft. For being synthetic, it is super, super soft, not scratchy. I've heard that these brushes are scratchy. So far, no scratchiness at all. They're good. Okay, so now we're going to move on to uh, the eyes. And I'm excited. So we are going into the, it's the 35, right? M boss palette and I'm gonna go ahead and use as a transition oh my god I am so like oh, that's how I feel right now I'm not even kidding I'm feeling very oh. so I'm gonna use play it cool which is this shade right here and that's gonna be um, my transition color did I just I'll be digging my nails into these things. So I'm just going to grab one of the big brushes. Not the biggest one, but like the second biggest. And I'm going to go ahead and go into play cool. And okay. So no fallout in the pan. Nothing's falling out. And I'm going to go ahead and just start 
putting that in my eyeballs start me blim 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 you guys know how it goes I don't have to tell you guys how to do this you guys know just blend so I'm going in circular motions and blending 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 I'm not I'm doing the least Okay, I'm not gonna do the most because I am going to work. So I'm just gonna blend this color to death. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab Peachy King, which is this shade right here, and I'm doing it with the same brush, but I'm only dip, you know, dipping the tip of the brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing, put it in the crease, but I'm gonna keep it a little bit lower. I'm just trying to deepen that crease just a little. I'm going to go ahead and grab a Vampy Vixen, which is this shade right here. And on the same brush, um, I know I'm going to show you guys a little bit more of the other brushes, but I'm going to just put this right here because I want to deepen it, but I don't want it to be super duper like dark so this is going on my outer corner and then whatever's left on the brush then I'll just blend it into the crease a little but I'm not gonna bring it all the way in I'm gonna leave it right here and just blend the heck out of that right there but these are blending so easy so smooth like they're blending themselves look at that so nice and these brushes are so nice okay so now I'm gonna grab a little bit more of play it cool which is that first shade that I use and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend everybody here in the outer edge together so there's no weird lines everybody's playing playing it cool together and just smudge everybody together because they're blending very nicely together so I'm going to leave it there because I could just keep going, like, and going and going and going. Um, I want to darken that, just my crease, just a little tiny bit. So I am going to grab a smaller brush because I do want to show you guys, like, you know, more of the brushes. And I just want to keep playing in my makeup. So I'm going to grab this very small uh, pointed blending brush and I'm going to go ahead and grab Dirty which is this brown right here talk dirty and I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that with my brush and I'm gonna go right into that crease Ooh, pigmented a F and I'm gonna bring it around like the outer corner rather than right on the lid Wow that's super pigmented I didn't even touch look guys I'm not even like touching it there's no fallout I'm not even tapping off my brush I have no fallout on my face beautiful so now I'm gonna grab um, a flash shader brush one of the small like detailer type brushes I'm gonna grab the smallest one and I'm gonna go into um, dirty talk which is that dark brown that we just used and I'm gonna go ahead and smudge that right on the outer edge I'm not gonna bring it in and you know like make it super smoky or anything and I'm gonna put a brown liner on as well but I want to just place this here now and fill in those you know that lash line now I'm gonna go ahead and grab a brown liner and this one is also by Morphe and I'm gonna uh, tight line and put this on my waterline. I'm just placing that against that liner and pushing it in and setting it right there. Yep, just like that. Very simple. At least in my eyes it's simple. And I'm gonna take that small blending brush and I'm gonna go back into uh, Play It Cool and Peachy King, these two. And I'm just gonna go from one to the other and then tap excess off and just blend this right here and just bring it down just a little not too much 
I'm not trying to do, like I said, the most. It might seem like it to some people, but it's not to me. So I cleaned it off, and I'm going to grab some of that lash glue. Because if I don't do this, then it transfers, and we're not about that life. So I'm just going to grab my little mirror, and we're going to just put that right in the inner corner. Like, like I said, I'm not doing the most. And I'm going to bring that all the way out to meet that darker shade. All right, so the color I use is called Life, Lights of the Party, and that's this one right here. And I'm going to do that to the other eye, and then I'm just going to, you know, take the small brush and go in a little with no added product, whatever's on the brush, and just blend that in just like this so there's no harsh lines, just like that. And boom, that's it. Eyes are done. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera, and I will be right back so we can finish this up. All right, guys, so I put a pair of A15 um, Ardell Faux Mink Lashes on. I have this thing that I got so long ago at Ulta on sale. It was like, I think, uh, 19 dollars I don't remember, but I got it on sale or $9.99. Um, it was like in a bin whatever and I put the superhero mascara uh, to blend these in and my um, giga lash my waterproof giga lash in the bottom and now we're gonna jump in we're gonna jump in apparently your girl can't talk I'm gonna use my NYX matte bronzer and I am going to use that angled brush that we got and I'm gonna go ahead and start just bronzing up the face a little so we're gonna tap 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 and then once we tap tap all the product that we want in, then we're gonna blend blend. I find this the easiest and fastest way, especially especially if I gotta go, especially if I have to go somewhere. So I just like to tap in the product, and then go in and give it a good blend blend blend. Okay, so bronzer is on. I do, I do, I do like this brush. It is soft, it's not flimsy, it seems that way, but it is not flimsy by any means. It is blending everything so nicely. Oh, yes. Hide that double chin, yes. Okay, so now, let's see, what else are we going into? Um, we're gonna do blush, and I have, okay, so, this was not an angle brush. This is the angle brush. Your girl got it all twisted. This is just um, a nice brush. It blended that out so beautifully. I wanted to use this one, but I'm not really contouring, so we're going to skip that. And for blush, I'm going to grab my ABH Trio here. And I'm going to just use a little bit of this, actually, mixed with this. And we're going to tap that on. You want to talk about pigment oh my goodness so I'm going back and forth and I'm gonna put a little bit more of that pink in there and then what I'm gonna do is I like to tap it on the back of my hand just to get it nice and blended and then we're gonna go in there we go so pretty Ooh. tap it on blend it out yes now we're gonna smile and whatever's left on the brush, just a tiny bit. Just going to go ahead and put that at the apples. Because you're going to be like, mm. there. Very nice. Oh, these brushes are good. Good. Okay, and now for drum roll, please. Highlights. And we are going in, yes, still using it, the dose of colors. As the end, Katie. Yes, we are. Now, I am going to use this big dookie brush here, which I think it's a highlighter brush. Now, you can use this brush for anything you want. You can use it for eyeshadows, and I am using it for my oh my god, this highlight is life. Alright, guys, so now um 
we're done. I'm going to do my setting spray. I'm shaking. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and go in with, um, this is Mahogany by MAC. And I'm just going to line my lips really quickly. Okay, so I line my lips and I filled them in. And now I'm going to go in with this M Cosmetics um, liquid lipstick that I got, I think, in um, an Ipsy like ages ago. All right, guys, so that's it. That's the end of the video. Um, as far as the eyeshadows, I love them. Like, you guys are going to definitely see a bunch of tutorials. Um, me using those. I am just pressing up my lashes. Um, I love the setting spray. I've been using it since it came out. So, yeah. And like I said, I use it to just melt all my makeup in. Not so much to set my makeup. Uh, because I'm oily, I have to use something like the Scandinavia or the Gerard Cosmetics. Or there's a few more that I use. Um, even drugstore ones that are great. Um, yeah. And the sponge I love. And I'll let you know that in the description tonight. How does this primer work it's supposed to be 12 hour waterproof we shall see um and other than that guys that's all i got for you i hope you enjoy the video i miss you guys so so much and until the next one which will be soon because i have something else that i want to share with you guys that i'm excited about so i will definitely see you very soon oh and the brushes well i'm always like just bleh. i love the brushes like i don't understand why so many people are i just think you know but all the controversies people just want to go and be extra because i'm going to tell you right now i like the brushes a lot um like i like i said the only um i had one issue with one brush when i bought that jacqueline collection like the very first one i had an issue with one brush it was a black brush it kept like they it would just uh the ink it kept bleeding on me it would never stop and then it started getting really rough and and it was only one brush out of the entire collection so I can't even be mad at that and like I said I washed these brushes before I got them um, and yes I prepackaged them if you guys want to see me do that that is so funny like my daughter laughs at me all the time because I do that all the time when I buy brushes um, but yeah they're still in great shape and I love love dropping the brushes all the time ah. I love the brushes but anyway guys um that's it that's the end of the video I love you guys don't forget uh, come back I have something super exciting that I want to share this week I'll be putting that up um maybe uh, in two days because I do need a day in between I mean I don't because I'm trying to get back into this like really hard because I missed you guys I missed doing this I missed all of it and yeah that's all I love you and on to the next one <laughs> peace out bye guys bye YouTube Mwah.